All right, what's good? What's good? What's good? Your man Chris Jones, another King Kennels. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, video done real quick. Um, you know, before I start dinner and you know get dogs all situated and out on walks and all that good stuff. All right. So I just got home. CZ PO7. CZ PO7. CZ PO7. I just love life, man. I'm a happy guy. All right. My thoughts. My review. CZ PO7. All right, so let me go ahead and clear it because this is my everyday carry. All right. All right, the CZ P07. I've had this gun for about, uh, let's say about three, four years now. Um, the first couple years, you know, I really only took it out to go shoot. Uh, didn't really carry it with me. Um, and then over the recent years, as I started to um, invest more into the gun and, and, and add some uh, upgrades to the gun. I started to carry the gun more and more to where now it has been my primary carry gun for at least the last three or four months. All right. And that's depending on where I go. I might switch it up with something a little smaller. Um, if I'm going into like a client's house, um, you know, that's a little more compact, which is my snow nose 38 special. And then as soon as I get back to the vehicle, you know, I switch back out to the czp07 all right so one of the main things that i've done to the gun um that you can obviously see and see if i can get it in there you can see it in there too is i added some primary machine upgraded parts the first thing i did was get a threaded barrel for it which is the match grade fluted there uh threaded barrel as well as the fluted guide rod and the self defense spring all right so that's what we run as far as uh, the couple upgrades that we did to the, the the top and the front of the gun now on the internal side internal side of the gun i went with the cajun gun works pro grade kit man upgraded <laughs> what trigger spring upgraded hammer spring upgraded hammer upgraded sear spring just the, the Cajun Gun Works Pro Grade Kit like really elevated this gun to a whole nother level. Gave it on a, the single action, gave it a lighter trigger pull. Even on the double action, gave it a crazy reduced trigger pull. To where I just love this gun. I just love this gun. All right. One of the things that a lot of people um, that I noticed that actually have this gun, one of the things that they chose to do was put, um, replace the decocker and actually put um, a safety on it, which I think the decocker in my opinion is is, is good enough. Um, you know, that's just for me, but some others I've noticed that they put safeties onto the CZP07, um, but pretty much this gun here with it in its original form, fresh out the box, I put about 1,500 rounds through it. Love how smooth it was. A lot of people say they had an issue racking the slide. You know, I rack the slide there, or I do a press check and kind of rack it from the front of the gun as well. Um, you know, so I, I've come up with a way and just by playing with it, you know, to rack my gun multiple ways, multiple times, all right? One of the first things, if anybody, in my opinion, is to get this gun, one of the first things that I would recommend doing is I always say upgrade your guide rod. Why not upgrade, upgrade your guide rod to something uh, a little more reliable, a little more solid uh, than the factory type stuff, all right? And you can simply do that for about 26 bucks from uh, uh, Primary Machinery. Um, they actually have upgraded upgraded guide rods as well as the upgraded fluted third uh, threaded barrels all right the other piece of equipment that i have for this which isn't on here at the moment is the uh the little compensator the the i think it's primary machines compensator too well i got that i put it on down because it comes with those little lock screws right there the comp I love it, man. This is something that I run with the, the gun when I'm actually out there with with uh, the homies and we, you know, just placing little bets and trying to, you know, see who has the fast shot, see who has the cleanest shots, see who hits center mass the quickest. But there you go. Boom. That's what it would look like, you know, you put the joint on there, um, you know, so. Yeah. Compensator, too. Well, I got that. I put it on here. I like how it, it shoots. 
it, it keeps it flat it doesn't allow the gun to pop up like uh, you know bounce up a lot like a lot of people think um, but even just with the upgraded uh, spring and internals you know I, I noticed that the gun is a whole lot smoother and stays pretty flat when I shoot it uh, what made me say hey let me go ahead and turn this into my primary carry gun I just got a lot of rounds through it since I've purchased and had all of the upgrades done to the gun throwing on the fluted match grade barrel I put another 2,000 rounds through the gun and it still runs very 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 smooth now have I ever had any issues with the gun absolutely once we have to talk about that US cartridge I ordered this stuff offline that reloaded shit that I found online during a pandemic you know when you couldn't find nothing in gun shops but you could find some stuff here and there online that stuff my guns seriously hate it unless I'm running my sub 2000 kel so I, I put all that stuff to the side and I, I, I run it through uh, the gun that we call booger which is my 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 green sub 2000 kel that is fully redone too but we talk about that on a different video but it's a blessing now when I did have the issue the one issue uh, caused the actual gun to jam and it jammed up uh, to where the cartridge uh, shell itself the, the bullet fired out but the cartridge itself jammed up in there and would not come out and it locked the gun up like that I was able to take it on the edge of a table after I cleared it took out the magazine and push it down on the table blah, and it caused it to wrap and expel that spent cartridge so after that and I noticed that I changed out the rounds that were in, the, in that magazine and I put fresh rounds, brand new brass into it and I, I went out and I got to shooting again and it ran flawlessly and I told myself I would not run US cartridge stuff through this gun again and I have not, all right? This gun runs really well. I shoot a lot of 124 grain out of the gun. Um, you know, when I go to the range, I, I run a lot of 124. Sometimes I run 115 depending on what I'm doing, but mostly it's 124 grain that I use with this gun. I just love the 124 grain bullet out of this gun. It runs smooth, it, 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 it's a little heavier, it, it fires right, it, it's, it's a blessing. Now, when I, your brother got your snacks. I was yelling at that dog. I was yelling at that dog. See, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a family man. All right. So that's that's just my quick review of the CZPO7. A lot of people said they hate it because the trigger guard is so small. They're unable to really get their fingers in there. I, I I'm, a, I'm a small guy. I'm only five five six. You know, I got, I don't have huge hands. So this gun actually fits me extremely well. Um, you know, so I I, I don't see that issue myself. But overall, I love the CZP07 in this form, having all the internals redone, having the match grade barrel on here in this form. Like I said, I probably got another 1,500 to 2,000 rounds plus through it. I really, I really stopped counting like 10, 10 range sessions ago. And every single time I go out to the range, I at least run 50 rounds through this gun. Just to stay very familiar with the gun and make sure that I'm still getting you know, my good uh, points of impact and where I actually want to fire the gun to stay familiar because I do carry it on my side on a normal basis right so that's about it with the gun so I have the primary machinery fluted uh, match grade barrel and gold is I have the primary machinery uh, uh, fluted guide rod um, I have the primary machinery uh, compensator that come with it and then I have the pro grade kit with the self-defense spring from uh, uh, Cajun Gunworks and I'm telling you right now if you really like this gun in its original form and you want to do something a little more special to it and want to add a little upgradeness to it you, you can't go wrong with the match grade barrel and you can't go wrong with the pro grade kit and they do have other kits at Cajun Gunworks just send the gun out to them and let them do the work and they send it back to you no issues whatsoever. All right. Much love. Much respect. I'll catch you on the next one.